woman goes to UN meeting, horrified at what Obama's sleeper cells have planned for U.S. neighborhoods. President Trump has been battling liberals every day ever since he enacted the migrant travel ban. However, there is one woman who sits in on many of the United Nations meetings regarding refugee resettlement to the United States that stands by Trump. She is doing everything she can to make people aware of a real Muslim invasion. The information she has is quite disturbing and is proof that America is intentionally being taken over by higher-ups in our national government. If liberals have their way and Trump is unable to stop whatever is happening with his executive orders, America will never be the same. For the woman's protection, her identity is being kept a secret due to the information she has about the flood of Muslims being admitted into the country. She has revealed that there is a war being waged on American sovereignty. She revealed that the war was instigated by the former President Barack Hussein Obama. She claims that Obama is continuing to violate the law by blocking President Trump's ban with judicial activism. Obama is doing everything he can to plant more of his Muslim soldiers across the country under the guise of the refugee program. After attending many meetings with the United Nations Office of Refugee Monitoring, she was able to drop the following bombshell on the sickening invasion taking place in America. She reveals that not only are these individuals flown into America at night so they go under the radar but that they're being thrown on a plane and flown into our country with absolutely zero vetting process. She notes that many of them have many highly contagious archaic diseases that were once eradicated from the United States, including leprosy, tuberculosis, smallpox, polio, and giardia. GOP The Daily Dose has more. She also dispels the propaganda that the invaders are primarily women and children, a tactic to pull on the heartstrings of the American people, stating the vast majority of refugees that we've received here in Missouri have been males, between the ages of 15 and upwards towards 40, 45 years old. Josh Tolley notes the similarity to the situation we saw playing out in Europe. She reveals that the invaders are brought in at night, supposedly because the airfare is cheaper but also because there is less public at the airport. In other words, it's easier for them to hide what they're doing to us. It's almost like they're making money running refugees, was a comment by the host. The guest says the agencies are responsible for setting the new arrivals up with a place to live, welfare, food, Medicaid and welfare and a housing allowance, in addition to the cash they receive on arrival. She states that the new invaders don't have any documentation that they are in essence being given new identities upon arrival, many of them coming in with no more identity than a description as Foon your full name unknown. They were also pressured to identify the refugees in such a way that they would be qualified for social security long-term disability. What's even more disturbing is that after immediately given social security benefits once they get to America, these invaders are then given completely new identities through social security cards and U.S. passports. And if states refuse to exercise their rights and refuse to play ball with these invasion programs, the federal government has a backup plan for that too. The Wilson Fish Program gives the federal government legal authority to go in and violate state sovereignty, dropping off these Muslim invaders wherever they damn well choose. With these terrorists now free to roam, Sleeper cells can then be activated at a moment's notice to carry out terror attacks on Americans. If it wasn't for Obama, ISIS would not have grown to be such a major threat to the world. If he had his way, our country would be flooded with Muslim migrants who would continue to infiltrate all levels of government. Obama is doing everything he can to undermine Trump even by judicial activism, and it doesn't help that the media is always standing behind him spreading the lies of liberals. Obama is a traitor and should be locked away for his many crimes. Fortunately, we have a president who stands by the American people. People.